All right, friends, let's go ahead and look at the worm and the wheel. Nope, not like that. Not at all. All right, friends, so we will create a worm drive. And that worm drive is something that creates a lot of torque. So we will make this worm drive so that way when the spiral, the screw, turns, it will turn a gear. So that's the point of this, to create a lot of torque. So, we have two different spirals with our VEX kits. We have this tighter one, and we have this one that's not as tight. You can see how the spirals in here, in this one I'm holding here, are stretched out. We will use this one for the worm and the wheel, not this one. This could be used for something else. For the worm and the wheel, this spiral meshes with gears. So the way we're going to build this, right here we have a, an example of the bevel gear. We're going to take half of this apart and add our worm and the wheel in here. So let's go ahead and take this apart. Alright folks, one of the hardest parts about this whole thing is placement. Getting everything to line up like you want it to. So if you need to move things around a bit, that may be what you have to do to get it to all work out. Now folks, look at how these little pieces mesh together. You want to line those up to where they mesh and it looks like one thread and not two right here. Okay folks, here is a spot where most students get into trouble or they um, get stuck. So this gear, when you mesh this and go through these sections of holes, it's really tight to turn. It really doesn't want to turn real well. So if I move it up, it's not connected and I obviously can't move it down. So what we need to do here Let's go ahead and take this one loose. And we'll add a spacer to it. And that lifts us up just a smidge.
All right, folks, so there we go. So now as I turn the screw, the wheel turns also. Creates a lot of torque. It's a lot slower. So if I have this moving at a medium speed, this will move at a much slower speed. So this will have to move really fast if I want this gear to move, if I want the wheel to move. Now this is only one way to do it. You can do it a number of ways. What I did here, what I did here was I just took these and moved them up. They're held by one screw and then the axle runs through this up here. So when I spin the worm drive, the wheel turns also. There you go, folks. There is the worm and the wheel. So now you can go ahead and build yours for whatever contraption you need it to work in. Thanks for watching.